Hello, it's your favorite president, Donald J. Trump, and by the way, still president. We have the great Rudy Giuliani, one of the great attorneys, looking into many powerful lawsuits uh, against all the voter fraud. I won the election very strongly, and numbers, by the way, numbers, are very sort of far left, okay? So as they continue to count the votes, the numbers, they keep adding very liberal numbers to the totals. So we're going to be fine. We're going to win. That's why we're being very strong right now. But I thought we had so much success this year doing strong reading videos, okay? And as you see, there's many books by a lot of losers who've tried to make a lot of money off your president, okay? And even they have to admit the Trump economy is so much better than anybody else's economy, and they've sold a lot of books, okay? But one book has been released, and it's not too nice, okay? It's a total disgrace by a disgraceful human being. It's called A Promised Land. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of pages, a lot of nothing, a lot of fake news. Uh, by Barack Hussein Obama. Notice he didn't include the Hussein. I wonder why. And it's this very important book, and they, they keep saying it's 750 pages. The, a lot of the pages, by the way, are what's called an index, okay? Index. Nobody ever heard of an index before, but Obama, Hussein Obama, put a big index so he could get all those pages. Oh, I'm so important. I've, it's, ba it's, it's not 750 pages, total fraud. So I thought I would read a little bit of this nonsense book so then you don't have to go buy it. You don't have to support him with great Trump economy dollars by supporting Hussein Obama's book, A Promised Land. Oh, very nice. And look who he dedicates it to. To Michelle, my love and life's partner, and Malia and Sasha, whose dazzling light makes everything... Brigter, Brigter, Brig, you're already making up words, already making up words. And I see how it is, he's got to dedicate it because he's only had one wife, he's so weak. So he's got to dedicate, his wife probably told him to dedicate it to her and his daughters. It's, he's a control totally by women, okay? I've, I, w I won't dedicate my book to mesothelioma because by the time the book comes out, my great book, she's probably not going to be my wife anymore. So, now, total weak book, and we're going to open to a random page. I chose page 69, and we're going to read from this, hor this horrible book. And this is about when President Beta Cuck Obama told Michelle that he wanted to run for president, even though he was from Kenya. Michelle was hardly oblivious to what was happening. At first, she simply ignored the fuss. She stopped watching political news shows and waved off all the over-eager questions from friends and co-workers about whether I planned to run. When one evening at home I mentioned the conversation I'd had with Harry, she just shrugged, and I did not press the issue, because he's weak. As the summer wore on through, though, though, not through, though, got it, got my mistake, not a mistake, the chatter began to seep through the cracks. So there he is, doing crack. Not a surprise and crevices of our home life. Our evenings and weekends appeared normal so long as Malia and Sasha were swirling about, but I felt the tension whenever Michelle and I were alone. Finally, because he's so weak. Finally, one night after the girls were asleep, I came into the den where she was watching TV and muted the sound. You know what? I kind of respect Michelle. She's watching her programs, and in comes this skinny Kenyan, probably from running a marathon, and wants to interrupt. I'm with you, Michelle. I can finally agree with you. 
You know I didn't plan any of this, I said, sitting down next to her on the couch. Michelle stared at the silent screen. I know, she said. I realize, he was probably saying, I realize we've barely had time to catch our breath. And until a few months ago, the idea of me running seemed crazy. Yep. But given everything, I don't want to do too much Obama. It sort of like hurts my soul. Very strong Christian, so not a Muslim. But given everything that's happened, I feel like we have to give the idea a serious look. I've asked the team to put together a presentation, what a campaign schedule would look like, whether we could win, how it might affect the family. I mean, if we were ever going to do this. And see, this is why he's so weak. I didn't do any of this. I ran, I made an announcement, I sent out a tweet, and I won. I didn't need all this. And I didn't have to ask Mesopotamia for permission because she doesn't really understand English. Did you say we, she said? You mean you, Barack, not we. This is your thing. I've supported, I like Michelle. She's, I, I changed my, she's sort of against Obama. I like that. I believe, I've, this is your thing. I've supported you the whole time because I believe in you, even though I hate politics. She said I hate, she used that word. I hate the way it exposes our family. You know that. And now finally we have some stability, even if it's still not normal, not the way I'd choose for us to live. And now you tell me you're going to run for president. She can't believe it either. She's like, you're not even eligible. I met you in Kenya. I reached for her hand. I didn't say I am running, honey. I just said we can't dismiss the possibility but I can only consider it if you're on board. I paused, seeing that none of her anger was dissipating. Dissipate, pis, dissipate. Well, that's another made up word. He, loved, he thinks because he got into Harvard, he can make up words. You can't do it, Obama. Just like you tried to get rid of Hussein. Can't do it. If you don't think we should, then we won't. Simple as that, you get the final say. Do you hear? A former president. What do you think Putin would say if he knew that he was letting his wife tell him what to do? Xi? What do you think Xi would do in China? Wouldn't They'd love to hear that. They'd love to hear that we have a beta cuck Obama running the country. Never again. Never again. We're not going to do it. Michelle lifted her eyebrows like The Rock. Did she do The Rock? As if to suggest she didn't believe me. If that's really true, then the answer is no, she said. I don't want you to run for president, at least not now. That makes two of us, Michelle. She gave me a hard look and got up from the couch. God, Barack, when is it going to be enough? Before I could answer, she'd gone into the bedroom and closed the door. How could I blame her for feeling this way? By even suggesting the possibility of a run by involving my staff before I'd asked for her blessing. So weak. I had put her in an impossible spot for years now. I'd asked Michelle for fort, fortitude, fortititude, for titties. Okay, well, that I respect for whatever that word is. Another made up word. And forbearance when it came to my political Endeavors, inde hors d'oeuvres, endeavors, hors d'oeuvres, political hors d'oeuvres. I think my favorite hors d'oeuvres at the political things are like the, you know, the pigs in a blanket. A little pigs in a blanket. Yeah, love those. Very tasty. And she'd given it reluctantly, but with love. And then each time I'd come back again asking for more. Such a long book, and it's only one page. I don't know who's going to buy this crap. Why would I put her through this? Was it just vanity or perhaps something darker? I think it was something darker, and it, that darker is a Kenyan who's not eligible. A raw hunger. A, this is what I'm telling Do you hear the way he's describing it? Our great suburban women, they're gonna, they hear about their, pres, their fake president from Kenya coming at them with raw hunger and something darker. Pretty scary stuff. 
That's what you're going to get with Sleepy Joe Biden. He's going to allow Barack Obama to run through the suburbs darker with wronger, in his own words, by the way. A blind ambition wrapped in the gauzy language of service? Or was I still trying to prove myself worthy to a father who had abandoned me because he didn't have the great Fred Trump? Live up to my mother's starry-eyed expectations of her only son and resolve whatever self-doubt, doubt, doubt, he put a B in doubt, how stupid is that? remain from being born a child of mixed race. It's like you have a hole to fill, Michelle had told me early in our marriage. Okay, well, you know what? That's what, that's what melatonin tells me on our monthly prenup appointments. She says, you got a hole to fill, and I, uh, well, this is for the kids, so we won't say it. Michelle had told me early in our marriage after a stretch in which she'd watched me work myself to near exhaustion. That's why you can't slow down. In truth, I thought I'd resolve those issues long ago, finding affirmation, affirmative action. See that affirmation in my work, security and love in my family. But I wondered now if I could ever really escape whatever it was in me that needed healing whatever kept me reaching for more. And then there's 5,000 more pages of that very weak president. It, uh, uh, it's a lot of book. He left out the Hussein. I wouldn't trust this book. But as you can see, he is an African, possibly American, but I think just African, who has raw darkness and passion and wants to take over our country and is too weak to stand. He wants to destroy our country but can't even stand up to his own wife. So I give this book a total failure. It's an F and it's only part one. This is part one of his two part manifesto book. It's a total disgrace. So don't buy it. Wait for my book coming out in a both coloring book option and non-coloring book option. It's coming out soon. It's going to be a tremendous bestseller. Don't buy a promise land because it's a, there's no promises. It's all lies. So wish me luck in my second term. Sorry, Sleepy Joe, but we're going to take over and uh, we'll see what happens.